Hey right, guys, so this is Alex the man here. Kind of took my hat off because it's cold out here. This is Pennsylvania. You know how it gets if you live here. Um, yeah. St little stress test on uh, this Crossman shotgun I left outside. I was gonna, as you see, it already doesn't have the barrel. Um, that's because I left it out here and I came back out to clean it, uh, bring it in and clean it, and um, barrel fell right off. I didn't even have it detached. Barrel fell right off. The only thing left is this little piece of this shotgun thing, and it doesn't even work. So, um, I don't even know if the, there's BBs in the, look at all the, you hear all them BBs in this freaking clip. I'm going to keep that. I ain't destroying that. All right, because I can, I need those. I need some more. Um, so, uh, yeah, here, we're going to beat this. Let's go. First, I'm just going to drop it a couple times against something. So, here we go. See what I mean? This is how junky Crossman is. This is the SRO2 or the SRO2 tactical shotgun. Something like it. So I had a little interruption there. I'm back now. Um, yeah, as you could see at the last part, the stock came out. So this is really light. Nothing but plastic. Everything in the inside is plastic. Oh, set that aside for a second. We're gonna beat the crap out of this and then we'll try the um oh look the barrel's loose here. And then we're gonna try the stock, see how durable it is. So here we go. I might not have to hammer this thing. I might not have to hammer it guys. As you can see, nothing left of it uh, but the inside internal, so we're going to use the uh, hammer on that part. Let's see how the stock goes. If it ain't uh, gay stock. Look, it doesn't even move now. I barely even left it outside that long. Huh. Yeah, we'll see how durable this thing is. It feels heavy, but it's probably not. My point in case here. the thing that makes it so heavy. Now it's light as a duck. Look. Look at this. Now, look. It does make it heavy. Now it's light as a duck. Here. Now it's going to really break here. Everyone, it's tactical rail. Right there. So, uh, yeah. Oh, what's that? Tactical rails are there on here. There. It's dead. Yeah. It's dead. No more stock. It's just junk. I'm barely even throwing the thing and look at it. It's all in pieces here. Ugh. Junk. So, next time you think about buying the $44.99 uh, tactical shotgun kit from uh, Crossman, think twice about it. Because, um, yeah, it ain't gonna work out for you. All right, guys, I'm sorry. Another interruption. My uh, idiot, idiotic neighbor, the whole way down there, decided he wanted his 15 seconds of fame by coming down on his bike like he was cool to get in the video, so I shut it off. But anyways, besides the point, yeah, the only thing that survived from that uh, stock was this. That's the only thing worth buying it is the tactical rail on the back. Don't buy the 4499 tactical shotgun. It may look cool because it comes with a scope now. This one didn't. This is old. Uh, came with. It comes with a scope and a pistol, spring pistol. Yeah, I would just go on AirsoftGI or AirSplat.com, buy a metal one. 
It ain't worth the time here. Yeah, I used to, when I was younger, I used to think, oh, they're good, whatever. As long as they're cheap, they're okay, right? As long as I can afford them. Just save up your money, it's not worth it. I'm gonna take a hammer to the rest of this. This is the only thing left here. See, I'm barely even tapping it and it's breaking here. 